Scorekeeper training video. Hi scorekeepers. You're going to need a score sheet. I recommend the USPA official score sheet and a pencil. Uh, use a pencil so you can erase your mistakes. Okay, the club should give you a score sheet, but if they don't or they don't know where it is, go to the Polo Association's website, go to Association, go to the programs down at the bottom, click on programs, then you scroll down from programs to forms and documents and then tournament. Click on that and you want to go to score sheets. They have one for a regular game and one for a round robin. So we'll pick the official score sheet for the regular game. And it comes up like this in a downloadable form or a printable form. So either print it or download it. And it has instructions on the back. Follow those instructions on the back. They change them from time to time, so I'm not going to go through them specifically. But that's the score sheet you're going to use right there. Okay, the first thing you need to do is figure out the handicap. Um, and I recommend using the matrix to do this. Um, what you'll do is if it's a six chucker game and it's outdoors, it's just simple math. If the teams are both handicapped the same, the, the handicap will be zero. If one team is six goals and one team is five goals, then the five goal team gets one goal by handicap and you write that down in the score sheet. If you are playing arena polo, it's based on four chuckers. So um, the handicaps are based on four chuckers. So if if you're playing four chuckers, then it's straight math. If both teams are six goals, then there's no handicap. If one is six and one is five, uh, then the team that's five will get one goal by handicap, and you write that down on the score sheet. If you're playing any other number of chuckers, you use the matrix to determine the handicap. You will go down the left side of the matrix and see what the handicap differential is between the teams, and then you move over to the right to see how many chuckers you're playing. And that will be the handicap based upon the matrix. Okay, now that you've got your handicaps done, of course, I'm assuming you've already filled out the player names and their individual handicaps and the team handicaps like you see here on the score sheet. That may already be filled out for you. It should be by your club manager. If it's not, you'll fill it out and you'll ask them where to get that information. Um, okay, so all you really got to do is pay attention to the game and record the goals scored. You'll record it in the chucker that it scored and you'll place it next to the player's name that scored the goal. So as long as you have the chucker and the player, then you just place the goal in there. And it's alphabetical. The goals are A, B, C, D, and so forth. And at the bottom of the score sheet, there's an alphabet, and you'll mark the goals off as you enter them into the, into the score sheet grid. That way you always know um, which goal you're on. So the most important thing about this is to use a pencil so you can erase your mistakes and to pay attention to who's scoring the goals, what team is scoring the goals, and record them properly on the score sheet. Um, the score sheet comes with instructions, so read the instruction page before you begin and or listen to your club manager who should tell you how to do it. If you have any questions or you don't understand the process before the game begins, ask the club manager and make sure you understand what you're doing. Keeping score is probably one of the most important parts of polo. Players completely lose their mind if the score is incorrect. So it's your responsibility as a game official to make sure you're keeping the proper handicap and you're recording the goals as they happen. And that's pretty much it. Uh, anything else unusual, your club manager uh, will tell you how to handle that. Okay, best of luck.